Four years ago, it was an award-winning water system. But now, Ropunya's hard-won water supply is facing closure because of new regulations due to take effect in July. Its water treatment system has meant a revival for this Hawke's Bay community, without which it is said many would be living in third world conditions. It's made a huge difference to our community. Um, we've kind of uh, struggled most of our lives. We've had uh, hardly gone from hardly any water because uh, most of the community was on tank supply and um, a lot of uh, whānau members had small roof space so they couldn't collect much water. Some whānaus were collecting water from the toilets, the public toilets here. A lot of whānau actually, um, especially during the summertime, they go to the laundromat and they do their washing in town. We have sharing whānaus who went to work and they take containers and fill them up at work because they didn't have enough water to last through the summer. Gee, we're, we're able to have uh, vegetable gardens, which um, I have a small native nursery. Um, I'm able to have that because we have a really good water supply now. About 40 households, around 300 people, are supplied by the treated river water system, including a marae, kaumatua flats and two kōhanga. It costs a million dollars to install and consumers are charged $400 a year for the water, an amount subsidised by ongoing applications for community funding from the community trust that owns it. The trust says finding enough money to run the system is already tough and the increased costs make it seemingly impossible for this Mohaka Riverside community. So we just struggle along every year trying to find funding wherever we can. Um, we've, we're lucky we can go to the Ngāti Pahawera Development Trust who um, they give out pūtia for community organisations and, and that's a huge help. But um, that funding's not available every year and uh, which, you know, uh, every year we struggle to find funding. Where are we going to find it in the future to keep our uh, system running? Because it's run by us, it's owned by us and um, we have to look after it. We're just so lucky that um, my cousin here uh, runs our system voluntary. The standards have been uh, taken to a new level, which makes it uh, extremely difficult to, uh, to meet them, basically. The cost, the ongoing costs, uh, the cost to the community actually threaten our water supply. Uh, we can operate on ten to twelve thousand dollars a year. Initial estimates say that will triple. Um, those are my estimates and someone more knowledgeable in the field thinks that's a little bit optimistic. It could be more and it's just something our community can't afford. They're quite onerous I think the requirements for such a small water supply in a community that uh, doesn't have a lot of financial backing. The new water rules can be traced back to the 2016 Havelock North Campylobacter outbreak, found to have affected more than 8,000 people with several deaths linked. It was caused by contaminated surface water entering Hastings District Council's untreated water supply. Ropunga also has a surface water supply, so faces very high new standards, despite never testing positive for E. coli. The increasing standards are part of the government's Three Waters program to take control of drinking sewage and stormwaters away from local councils to be run by four new publicly owned regional entities. Ropunya's water supply is privately owned and likely to stay that way. We know that the district council can't afford it, so it really does require support from um, central government of some description too. Uh, district Council can barely run what they've got now. Ropunya's water comes from a stream classed as surface water vulnerable to contaminants. New government entity Tomata Arowai took over from the Ministry of Health as the drinking water regulator in November. It says the new rules are not engraved in stone and hopes to find a sustainable solution for Ropuna. 
It said there was a range of regulatory tools available and was committed to helping suppliers have an easier time satisfying requirements. But the problem is a lot wider than Raupuna, and communities that have aspired to a water supply like Raupuna's now have an even bigger hill to climb. We need another category that caters for small communities that are so dependent on the water that uh, without it would be like stepping back 40 years, you know, where people are carting water to their house from the local stream. or like, And this is what we were doing before. You know, you'd see people driving down the road with their big white cubes on, the, on a trailer to fill up somewhere and bring it back, you know, it's almost uh, third world. Tomata Arawai said parts of the new drinking water standards are still not finalised and that is keen to meet with Raupuna's people early this year to better understand their situation and work to find a solution. Patrick O'Sullivan, a local focus.